Hello everybody, English Woodsman here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. More so thank you very much for clicking on my video. Now I finally got my hands on the OEX Rome 100 one season sleeping bag. Now when I say finally, what I mean by that is for two years I've been searching for this sleeping bag on Go Outdoors, Blacks and Millet's website. But because it's only a one season sleeping bag, Go Outdoors and Millets and that lot will only sell it in the summer months. You won't see this sleeping bag on sale in winter. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it and then we're going to get it out of the bag so you can see it. So, 215 centimeters long, the widest part of the sleeping bag where your shoulders are going to be, 80 centimeters. Season rating one, summertime only. We've said that already now it says your comfort rating is 10 degrees the minimum you could go down to well it says the limit here is five degrees and it says extreme zero i won't ever ever take it down of that i'd stick to it summertime like tonight it's going to be 15 degrees all night so i'd probably use it in this sort of weather and it weighs in a 950 grams Let's get it out of the sack and let's have a look. So first of all, you can compress it down quite good. Probably could get a little bit more if you want to do. But I'm not going to get it any more down than that. That's perfectly good. Now, I know somebody asked me, and I, I'm always honest with people's comments. Someone asked me, please, not to continue doing the views on tents and stuff like that on my channel, stick to the camping. This channel is all about, as well, showing you things like this. Now, if you like these sort of videos, especially the tent reviews and sleeping bag reviews, let's say, do give the video a massive thumbs up, just so I've got an idea. And if you do want to leave a comment, do comment below. So let's get it out of the stuff sack. Let's get it on the mat, what I've laid down over there, and we'll have a look at it. Right, so the top of the sleeping bag is where your face is going to be pointing out. Here, you've got this Velcro cover to stop yourself when you're moving around through the night. Pulling on it and helping the zip come down. You don't seem to want to do that, it feels quite a strong zip. There's no neck baffle on this sleeping bag, but you can pull this paracord here and like the little spring, whatever you call it, pulley of something. You can pull that up just to close it up a little bit more if you need to keep some more of your body heating you can do that the velcro does seem pretty strong and the zip it's not a ykk zip but it seems a good zip it feels quite strong actually yeah see how i'm pulling on it there i don't want to pull it too tight so i don't want to break it but it's got some good force there and it's not pulling itself down each side of the zip it's got the zip baffle so what this does here, this part, this part here, it stops your body heat escaping from the zip. So as you pull the zip up, like that, it covers the zip there. Most sleeping bags do have that on. So the zip goes slightly over three quarters of the way down. So the zip says, SBS on it. I don't know what that means. The foot box seems to have just a little bit of extra padding to keep your feet warm. And it's got these here if you want to hang it up in a wardrobe or somewhere like that. So as the zip stops, like I said, just over three quarters of the way down. At the bottom, it's got the logo. Now it says designed and developed in the UK. So, a lot of people have said I am sponsored by OEX. So if I was sponsored by OEX, I wouldn't say this. Where it says designed and developed in the UK, that's wrong, okay? It might be designed in the UK, but it's actually developed in China. This is made in China, 
and just sent over to whatever deals we've go outdoors, blacks, millets and stuff like that. Now, inside the sleeping bags there's a little label and it actually tells you what the sleeping bag's made out of. Uh, 2010T Ripstop Polyester and the inner is soft polyester as well. Yeah, 80 centimetres across from your shoulders. I do feel a little bit, you know, tight in it. It's very slippy on this mat. I feel like a caterpillar. Imagine if anybody were walking past now, they'd be like, what the hell is that idiot up to? <laughs> So that is a quick look at my new OEX Rome 100 sleeping bag. Now if you want to see more of me using this sleeping bag, you can hit this here by subscribing to the channel. YouTube will recommend some up there if you want to see it. All I can say is it's going to be a decent summer sleeping bag for myself. I will use it in the next couple of weeks so you can see it if you subscribe to my channel already. If you're not subscribed and you want to see more, like I said, please hit this here and hopefully I'll see you next time, so thanks for watching.